Data discretization and concept hierarchy generation. Data discretization and concept hierarchy generation are two important data preprocessing techniques in data mining. These processes simplify complex, continuous data into more manageable forms, which helps improve the efficiency of data analysis and make patterns more easily interpretable. Here's an in-depth look at both concepts. 1. Data discretization. Definition. Data discretization is the process of converting continuous data into discrete bins or intervals. Instead of treating each value in a continuous range separately, discretization groups values together, which can help simplify analysis, reduce noise, and make patterns more visible. Purpose of discretization. Simplifies complex data, making it easier to interpret. Improves the performance of algorithms, especially in classification and clustering. Helps avoid overfitting by reducing the number of unique values. Increases the interpretability of patterns, especially in large datasets with continuous data. Methods of data discretization. Binning. The dataset is divided into a specified number of bins or intervals. Binning methods include equal width binning, equal frequency binning, and adaptive binning. Equal width binning, all bins have the same width. Equal frequency binning, each bin has approximately the same number of data points. Adaptive binning, bin sizes vary depending on the data distribution. Histogram analysis. This is a graphical method for discretizing data where the frequency distribution of data values is divided into bins based on a histogram. The height of each bar in the histogram represents the frequency or density of values in each bin. Cluster analysis. Uses clustering techniques, such as k-means or hierarchical clustering, to form groups. These clusters then act as bins that discretize data based on natural groupings. Entropy-based discretization. Utilizes information gain and entropy reduction to determine the best points for splitting continuous attributes. This approach is often used in decision tree algorithms, like ID3 and C4.5, where discretization helps to improve classification accuracy. Segmentation and quantile-based discretization. Data is segmented based on quantiles, where each interval represents a quantile, e.g., quartiles or deciles. Useful for datasets with skewed distributions or those that need a more balanced interval distribution. Advantages of data discretization. Reduces complexity, making data easier to understand. Enhances the interpretability of patterns and results. Improves the accuracy of some data mining techniques, like decision trees and rule-based classifiers. Helps convert continuous attributes into categorical ones for categorical-based data mining models. Disadvantages of data discretization. Can lead to information loss if intervals are too broad. Incorrect binning methods may introduce bias. Excessive discretization may lead to oversimplified results. Concept hierarchy generation. Definition. Concept hierarchy generation is a method used to group data in a hierarchical format, where data is organized from a lower level to higher level concept. It enables abstraction, making it easier to view data in different levels of granularity. Purpose of concept hierarchy generation. Enhances data interpretability by creating multiple levels of abstraction. Useful in drill down and roll up operations in OLAP, online analytical processing. Helps analysts understand data trends and relationships across different levels. Types of concept hierarchies. Schema-based concept hierarchies. These hierarchies are explicitly defined by the user based on the dataset schema. They often use domain knowledge to define levels, such as organizing a location attribute into levels, city-state-country. Data-driven concept hierarchies. Constructed based on the data distribution and clustering of attribute values. Examples include grouping numerical values into ranges or generating a hierarchy based on the data frequency or distribution pattern. Domain knowledge based concept hierarchies. Created based on domain knowledge and pre existing ontologies or classifications. Examples include biological taxonomies in biology or industry standard categorizations in business. Methods of concept hierarchy generation. Attribute-based hierarchy. Uses a single attribute to define multiple levels of hierarchy. 
Example, in sales data, a date attribute can be transformed into a hierarchy with day, month, quarter, and year levels. Generalization-based hierarchy Uses data generalization techniques to abstract low-level data into higher concepts. For instance, product models can be generalized to product categories, which are further generalized to departments. Set grouping-based hierarchy Forms a hierarchy by grouping attribute values into higher-level categories. E.g., a collection of cities may be grouped into states, which are further grouped into regions or countries. Rule-based hierarchy generation Uses predefined rules to create hierarchies based on certain attribute values. For example, income brackets might be split into low, middle, and high-income categories based on a set of business rules. Advantages of concept hierarchy generation Allows users to analyze data at various levels of detail. Supports drill-down and roll-up in OLAP, helping users explore data from different perspectives. Reduces data redundancy and simplifies complex data structures. Enhances the accuracy of data mining tasks by abstracting noisy, detailed information. Disadvantages of concept hierarchy generation. Manual construction can be time-consuming and complex, especially for large datasets. Incorrect hierarchy generation may lead to inaccurate or misleading analysis. Hierarchies created without careful planning can lead to data inconsistency and redundancy.